This lesson is a continuation for electron configuration. We will go through electron configuration using periodic table method. Now, look at the configuration of different elements from different groups and periods. What can we observe from the electron configuration of group 1? Here group 1, period 1, 1s1, period 2, 2s1, period 3, 3s1. Similar to that you can see second group, third group, fourth group. In the second group 2s2, 3s2. Only the principal energy level is increasing but the orbital stays the same. And the number of valence electrons stays the same. In the 3a or 13th group, the last shell is same. It's a second principal energy level. And this is for period 3, third principal energy level. Now you can see S2, P1 remain same. That means the valence electron will be 3. That remain same for the 13th group. Similar trend you can see in 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. Thus, elements in the same column of the table have related outer shell electron configuration. All 2A elements have an S2 outer electron configuration. 3A elements have NS2 and P1 electron configuration. Similarity of valence shell electron configuration implies that we can determine the electron configuration of an atom by its position on the periodic table. That is why the properties resemble for each group. One, uh, S1, S1, S1. So the valence electron will be same. And here valence electron will be same. It is showing that S2. And here P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 for all atoms. Here all elements here and P6 for all elements here. That is the reason the properties resemble for each group. Thus, the organization of electron in an atom explains not only the shape of the periodic table, but also the fact that the elements in the same column of the periodic table have similar chemistry. So how to write the electron configuration? How is it arranged? Everything, if you look at this one, you can see all are filled in order. So there are seven periods, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we will start from 1s and we will end in 7s. So when you move from one box to another, one electron is increased. You are adding one electron. And we will stop here, 1s1, 1s2, because s can hold on maximum of two. And then look at that, 2s1, 2s2. And then we have to stop there. That's a completely filled for s. And then we will move on to the P. The P starts from the second energy level. So it will start from 2P1 and P can hold maximum 6. When you jump to the next one, one electron is added, 2P2 and then 2P3, 2P4, 2P5 and the filled orbital is 2P6. You have to remember all the filled orbitals. And then we are moving to the next principal energy level, that is next shell. That's the third period. So 3s1, start from 3s1 and then 3s2. That s orbital is completely filled. We will stop there for s and then we will start again for p. So 3p1 through 3p6. This is just like reading a book from left to right. And then start again with the fourth shell. That is the fourth period, 4s1, 4s2. So then for 3d, because one principal level less for d or uh, D block, D shell, D sub shell. So again start from 1 and it will add, keep adding one electron when you jump to the next box and it will end in 3D10 because D can hold maximum of 10. And then again start for the P with a 4. So 4P1, 4P2, 4P3 and it will go up to 4P6. So you have to remember all the completely filled orbitals while writing electron configuration.
Thus, we can write the electron configuration of an element based on its position on the periodic table. Based on the configuration, periodic table can be further divided into four divisions as shown. The left two columns and one right top, the pink one here, one, two, this one we are talking about. They are marked as S block. On the right is a block of six blue columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. That comprise the P block and this corresponds to P orbital which can hold maximum six electrons. The S block and P block together called main group or representative element. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are called representative elements or we can call it as main group elements. The orange block is the transition metal and are classified as D sublevel or D block elements. And here you have to remember this one when you write the electron configuration, the subshells are one less, that means n minus one than the period number. What is that means? If the period number is 4 here, this is 4s1, this is 4s2, but when you jump into this D, sub, D block, you have to write 3d1 and 3d2, 3d4, and it will go up to 3d10. And then again, you have to start with the 4. It will be 4p1, 4p2, and the last one will be 4p6. That's the point you have to remember. Uh, and the bottom purple ones, see these two, they are called F block elements. Now in this case, they are, the, they are two less than the period number. That means it is starting from 6, 10, 7, 6 extended here, this one 7 extended here. So 6 minus 2 will be 4F, 4F1 through 4F14 and this one will be 7F1 through 7F14. I'm sorry, this is 7s1, 7s2 and 2 less. That means 5f1 through 5f14. Using the periodic table to write the electron configuration found to be very easiest for students. First locate the element in the periodic table and then look for the completed shells. Always start from the lowest energy which is 1s2. That is for helium. Then follow the order to complete the other completed orbital or subshells from left to right as you read a book. Here is an example. Look at that. The highlighted column are the filled orbitals under each block. This is the filled orbital 1s2, 2s2, 3s2. All these are the S filled orbital. These are the P filled orbital and these are the D filled orbital and these are the four filled orbitals. So you cannot jump these filled orbitals when you write one of the elements. We will practice. For a specific elements configuration, write the completed orbital and continue to the desired element. Let us try an example. Use the sublevel blocks on the periodic table to write the electron configuration for sulfur. So first we have to locate the element. Where is sulfur in the periodic table? It is in group 6A and period 3. So this is period 3, group 6A. So this one is the one. So I had to start from the first filled one. I removed the he, uh, moved the helium to the left side for easy writing electron configuration. So this one is 1s2 and then we have to go to the next filled one 2s2 and then read the book to the right 2p6 and then 3s2 and I will stop where 6a where sulfur is here 3p4. Okay. 
Write the field sub level order going across each period 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then complete the configuration by counting the electron in the last occupied sub level block, which is going to be 3p4. This table shows the electron configurations for some fourth period elements. Notice that the D block elements have one less than the period number. Also notice the noble gas configuration for each element. The core electron configuration is same for all these fourth period elements. What is that means? The core, see the underlined one here, all these are same. Only the last one 3D is changing. 1, 2, 3, it's going in order. And this is the noble gas configuration. So that is why all will be same because that is from the fourth period. And now one last question here. Using the periodic table to give the symbol of the element with uh, each of the following electron configuration. You can check it with the periodic table. And let's see the answer. All right, move on to the next one, next lesson, and practice more electron configuration. Using the periodic table to give the symbol of the element with each of the following electron configurations. So how will you find this one? Count the number of electron, which is the superscript here. 2 plus 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 27. 27 electron means 27 protons. So look for the element with atomic number 27. Then that you can find it from the periodic table. And now the next question. Argon. How many electrons for argon that you can get it from the periodic table by looking at the atomic number and add the electrons and find the element which is that one from the periodic table. It should be bromine. 